started with that conversation, we're going to talk a little bit about passion. So this isn't going to be a technical talk. Uh, there, there's going to be some review for people that already know, um, it, you know, about taxonomies and things like that. Um, but hopefully there will be some helpful morsels you'll be able to take with you and implement today. Uh, don't do it during breaks because that's a great time to talk with people. Do it after that, right? So uh, we'll talk about the early years. So when I was a kid, um, I loved the food, right? Who didn't? And, uh, and I saved up my allowance for, I don't know, three months, something like that, to buy my first computer. Why? Because every single time uh, I wanted to go connect to a BBS bulletin board system. How many of you in the room have connected to a bulletin board system in your life? Okay, cool. So I'm in good company. So every time I wanted to connect to a bulletin board system, I had to go to the local college. And that was no fun. Uh, because I wanted to be able to download things onto my own computer. Right? I wanted to be able to see things on my own computer, uh, to experiment with it, to play with it. And every time I left the university or the college, all of that was gone. So I saved up. I bought my first computer. And, uh, and I took it home. And I went up to my room, and I promptly took every tool in the house, and I took it to that computer, and I unscrewed every screw, right? I took every circuit board apart. Um, it was all laying out on my floor. So I purchased this computer that I spent all this time uh, uh, saving up money for, and I took it all apart. It was worthless, right, on the, on the ground. And so my mom walked in, and she said, Mendel, why did you take this apart? What, what have you done? And I said, well, I was excited to see how it worked, right? That's how much I loved computers. And so, uh, and it, it was messed up, right? Because then when I put it back together, I left the screw on the, on the motherboard, it fried the entire thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> long story. But, uh, so I was excited about computers, I was excited about PBSs, and then my brother found out that you can download music uh, on PBS. Right? And my brother loved music. And so he taught me to love music as well uh, through my first computer, my BBS, and eventually 56 k connection to the internet. So I was passionate about computers, about BBSs, right, which is community, and MP3s. So I grew up, um, you guys are hitting the life story right here, so enjoy. I, I, this isn't what you signed up for, right? You didn't want to hear my life story? There's a point. So, uh, so college years, right? I started a business, it was a startup, it was a social network, right? More community. Um, it, it was a social network, uh, and when I created the social network, it was all about getting drink specials and house parties to people that mattered most, which were uh, college students, right? And this was before Facebook, so this stuff didn't exist. And, uh, and so I created this website, it was awesome, and we started doing deals with local businesses. This is how I got started in web development. And we started doing deals with businesses, we started doing their marketing for them, we started doing uh, the print advertising, we even started creating videos for them, YouTube videos, commercials, and things like that. Before that all was cool, right? And, uh, and that eventually started creating websites. Uh, and and this, was, this was crazy, this was cutting edge. Um, but they loved it, and it got them uh, tons of um, tons of traffic, right? And so at the same time, we were like, well, you know, if we can get traffic to these websites, maybe we can create some websites of our own, right? And so as Twitter came out, as Facebook came out, we started creating content aggregators uh, and putting uh, display ads on those um, those contract that contact content aggregation sites, and that was awesome. Right? And so we were really excited, and I was really excited at that point in my life about business, media, R&D, and again, community, right? Because I, I created community sites. And so this is what my first website, my first business website looked like. And you can see that this particular website was pretty spot on, right? I had, besides the fact um, that it wasn't WordPress. Uh, we'll get there. So, uh, so here's marketing, media, R&D, and then a client area for my web development clients, right? And this is actually what that website looked like later. I actually started to miss the mark, right? I strayed because I had marketing and then I had the process, and who cares about that? What is research anyway, right? And classes? 
That doesn't have anything that maybe that has to do with community. Um, so now, right? I'm standing in front of you. This looks a little bit more like me. Um, there are things that I'm passionate about now, right? So I work for GoDaddy. Um, I love community. Uh, I love coming to things like this, meeting people, listening to cool stories, uh, the, the wonderful stories that everybody brings with them about their businesses uh, and, and why they do what they do. Um, business, right? I've always loved business, love creating websites for businesses, love figuring out how to, how to you know, hack businesses and things like that. Um, development, right? So I was an enterprise developer for quite a while before I started working at GoDaddy. Uh, did ASP.NET, uh, Move, uh, PHP, yay, um, and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, right? Uh, database work and things like that. And because I've had such an awesome opportunity to spend time with communities, I've also become passionate about travel, right? So these, these are the things that I'm passionate about now. Talking a lot about passion, it's going to tie in. This is my website, right, at the moment. And uh, it wasn't always this way, by the way. But uh, this is my website. And you can see there's community, business, development, travel. And here's some crazy information. This year I doubled my traffic, right? Who here wouldn't want to double the traffic to their website or to their client's website? Really? Everybody doesn't want to do that? Is there anybody that wants to double the traffic to their website? Thank goodness. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to walk out, right? <laughs> so, with a plan, it's super easy to do, right? It's simple, and I'm going to give you guys a plan, but first I'm going to babble a little bit more about how I've done things wrong in the past. And we're going to look at some people's websites and uh, get some information and learn from their websites as well. So, I'm Mendel. Um, I am a community outreach person at GoDaddy, which means I travel around and drink beer with geeks for a living. Um, I'm from Austin, Texas. I'm passionate. I know you guys wouldn't believe this, but I'm passionate about community, business, development, and travel. Right? I blog frequently at Mendel.me, and I'm at If You Will It on Twitter. All right, so let's talk about building blocks of great content. Have a mission. Remember that it's important to have a mission, right? Every endeavor should have one. Um, and I'm going to show you my mission in a second, but I don't want to ruin that yet. Uh, you should be passionate about your mission, right? You should be excited about it. Whatever you're doing, right? If, if it's your client, right? This is good advice to give your client. Your client should be passionate about what they're doing, right? If they're in business, it's better that they're excited about what they're doing than not excited about what they're doing. If you're creating a website, it's, it's better that you're excited about that industry that you're creating websites for than um, not being excited about it. You heard Constantine talk in tons of nerdy detail about um, committing, uh, or sorry, uh, contributing to WordPress, right? Leading, leading a release. And you can't do something like leading a release without being passionate about it, right? Your content should always reinforce your mission, Right? Seems simple enough. And your content is equal to posts and taxonomies. So a lot of people just think of content as content, right? I'm going to write some long-form content. It's actually a little bit more than that. So here's my site mission. Blog about professional passions to help others. Very simple. Simple statement. Right? And my professional passions are development, business, and community. Again, big surprise. This is going to keep coming up. The idea is to show you an example, and you'll be able to apply this to your life. So, what happens when you create a site without planning? Uh, I, I like looking at this, so uh, I'm going to take a look with you. So I learned about this the hard way, right? And uh, so you can laugh if you want to. Um, just uh, try and do it quietly, like quiet stickers. All right, so this is my first one. All right, it was awesome. There was no navigation. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, and uh, there was seemingly random stuff there, right? And so on the right, I put what my mission is, just to remind you, okay? I didn't always know that this was my mission, um, but, uh, but I know this 
Now, and so in retrospect, I'm looking at this. Now I learned the hard way by iterating over and over and over again. So, um, Sarah Caulfield Cray didn't know how much joy a unicycle could bring. Does that have anything to do with professional passions and helping others? Not a thing. All right, this, by the way, the CSS is missing. I, I pulled all of these from the web archive, so this particular one, it wasn't this bad, but it was pretty bad. Um, so, I have categories, home, entertainment, movie reviews, music, fitness, food, how-to. Those are great, those are personal passions, right? But they're not professional passions. And talking about those things, writing content for those things doesn't help others, right? This one was a real treat. Uh, there was no navigation. And uh, quite frankly, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to find on this site, right? Except my name. Uh, and maybe uh, Google Maps, which by the way, there were none on the site. <sighs> and then we started to get a little more interesting. So I started to get uh, straight with myself, right? And understand a little bit more about what I was interested in. And I put development, business, and then two other really big passion points of mine, pipes and coffee, right? I thought that was reasonable. And this is the last one before my current site, and this is development, business, events. Look at that. Community just showed up there, right? Doesn't have the right name, um, but community just showed up there. Coffee and hiking, right? So it turns out that coffee and hiking shouldn't be on there, right? Um, actually, community, business, development should be there. And what I did is I split coffee and hiking off into its own site. Right? And now I'm looking at this mission, it's becoming a lot clearer. Right? These are my professional passions. Community, business, development. Right? Good. Glad every, you know, at, at least by the end of this talk, you all will know what I'm excited about. <laughs> so, the thing is, this took about eight years, this entire process of going through over and over and over and trying to figure out exactly what it is that I wanted. Right? Exactly what it is that I was interested in. And the truth is, that sucks. That's a lot of time to go through uh, and iterate and figure out exactly what, what you're interested in, right? And so um, I'm, I'm going to help you out by solving some of this mystery so that uh, you don't have to go through that, that, painful, um, that painful amount of time. And I also removed a lot of posts, a lot of categories, and a lot of tags. And you have to be true to yourself when you're looking at your mission because this might be something that you have to do, right? Um, it's painful. It doesn't feel good to remove posts that you've spent hours creating. But sometimes that content belongs in a different place. So let my journey help you. Um, and uh, here's where we're going to start. So start with your passion, right? Uh, if that word hasn't been used enough, maybe we can play a game later or something like that at the after party. Uh, how many times Mendel said passion? Uh, so, understanding your passions helps you create better content. Got it? Good. What do you care about? Right? What do you care about? What topics are you passionate about? So let's pick on some people that we all know. <laughs> Extract from this that we know immediately 
right, that, that Petra is interested in. Oh, and I forgot chocolate at the top, right? So chocolate, Project Management and Human Made, Open Media Foundation, and Polyglots. Um, what? In that order. In that order, okay. Um, by the way, whatever this cereal is, I had this this morning, whatever this cereal is that, um, that is in Switzerland, that uh, is chocolate um, and just a little crunchy, it's amazing. I don't know. <laughs> no idea what it is, but it's incredible. All right, so those are personal sites, but let's talk about business now, right? What does your business care about, right? Or what does your client's business care about? What does your business stand for, right? What's important to the business? What are the topics, right? Uh, what services do you offer? Don't worry, I'm not going to pick on human made this time. Uh, this time it's going to be born creative, and this is an agency out of uh, out of the U.S. And you can see that the that the things, the services that are important to born creative are strategy, design, and development. Right up front, you see that it's there. You can't just state this, right? And if you click on services, you'll get more information about that, right? All the content is written about those things, about those passions or those topics that are important to the business. And if you look at Tenup, right, they've done something else that's kind of interesting. They've combined both their services, so strategy, design, and engineering, with things that matter to them, right? Giving back. All right. So those are building blocks. Those are things that are going to help us in the rest of the conversation. It's a little bit of context, right? And uh, I'll try and talk about passion a little bit less in these next slides. So bear with me. But I am going to talk about being awesome. And I'm really bad at spelling, uh, but this is not a mistake, okay? So it's kind of a way to remember how to uh, create content on your site. So number one, organize. You want to create categories that are related to your mission, okay? Now, some of this, again, is going to seem like review, but I guarantee you, if you think it's review and you're nodding your head and you're nodding off, or um, maybe you've left, uh, hopefully you can hear me and you're coming back in, um, you you should reevaluate against this um, list of uh, criteria, right? And see if your site uh, still... Um, uh, still is true to these concepts, right? Because these are things that we think about in our head, but we don't always um, put together in practice. So, here's my site, right? Um, first of all, quick review, categories, they're hierarchical, uh, and they're topical, right? So, uh, in my case, I have development, I have WordPress, I have themes. And remember, I told you that categories are also topical, right? Those are just as important the way you categorize and the way you talk about um, the classification of your content is just as important as your content. All right, so we have development, WordPress themes, community, event, conference, business, marketing, right? Marketing is the subcategory of business. Um, this, is, this is my category structure, right? And then make sure to create tags um, because you're creating a home for this wonderful content that you're going to write based on your passion. Uh, and so tags, as review, are non-hierarchical, right? They don't have children, uh, they don't have parents, um, and they're descriptive, right? They describe the content in the categories for which, um, for which you're making them, right? So uh, for, and this isn't showing up that well, but um, so for, for WordPress, for themes, right? Maybe you, uh, you create tags uh, for CSS or JavaScript. Um, or for community, maybe it's an awesome community, or it's a WordPress community. And for marketing, maybe you're interested in talking about optimization or workflow, right? So the next thing is, right, you've created all of your uh, categorization. Uh, and the next thing is to signal, right? And this is something that a lot of people miss. A lot of people miss. And when I change this, I'll be really honest, um, I, I talked to Yost, and um, Yost kicked me around and said, Listen, you got to do this right, and uh, and I did it, and my traffic increased. Right, I told you it, it, it increased um, two times. Right, and this uh, when I made this change was was a big deal. So the first thing is um, that was, so this is my navigation. Right, um, the first thing is street signs. Right, you have to indicate where you're going to go. You have to indicate where your uh, visitor should go. Right, 
And so, in this case, you can see this uh, yellowed out line here, right? These are all the subcategories of events. So I'm telling people where to go before they even get there, right? And what this does, it helps your user get to the right place wherever they want to go, right? These are all the types of events that, um, that I write content about. Uh, but it also helps Google discover, too, and create a relationship. And then breadcrumbs. Right? This is like an insurance policy for your user, so that they know exactly where to go back to. Uh, so in this case, I have the breadcrumbs up here. Right? So now you can go back to community and back to home. And again, very important in, uh, in both usability and search engine optimization. And, uh, and then so, the, so, that, so this is the second S in awesome. Um, and uh, it, you guys are all going to uh, probably tweet that Mendo doesn't know how to spell, and he comes from America, and English is his first language, and he should be, uh, and he should know how to spell awesome. Um, but again, I told you not to make fun of me. So, uh, write about questions, you Google. Right? So turn on your Google search history. Um, and when you Google things, uh, they will automatically appear, all of those queries will appear in your Google search history, and then go back to that after a month and see what you Google. Because I guarantee you the things that you Google are things that you're passionate about, things that are related to your business, things that are related to your personal passion if you're creating a personal website. So in this case, I don't know how many times I Googled WordCamp Switzerland 2015 to get the schedule, right? I wasn't going directly to the URL, I remember that, right? And so I'm going to, after this, you can bet I'm going to have a post that says WordCamp Switzerland 2015. It's going to have pictures, right? And that's going to come up in the Google search rankings, right? So it's going to bring people to my content. It's going to be interesting uh, hopefully to some of you, right? And at the same time, um, I'll create a content that I'm passionate about. Uh, business, same thing. How to write a marketing proposal. Um, how do I create a responsive gallery and best coffee in Austin, Texas? All of these things... Um, I've either written about or will write about. All of the things that I've written about have brought good amounts of traffic uh, to my website. All right, write about common client questions. Uh, so these are common client questions. How do I create a new post? How can I add an item to the menu? If you have a more advanced clientele, if you do a specialized type of work, then these questions can be different, right? They're not all going to be beginner's questions. Um, maybe you're doing development for a development company, right? And you're trying to bring them in. What do you think your clients, uh, what do you think clients of other um, uh, web design companies that aren't getting the right information are going to look at, right? They're going to go on there, and they're going uh, to go on to Google, and they're say, how do I create a post? Because their web development company didn't tell them how to create a post. Guess who's going to get that business? It's going to be you. All right, and then the last thing is to make. Right? To make the content. So, what do you stand for? Right? Do you stand for kindness, compassion, or learning and exploration? Do you stand for improvement? Right? These are all qualities that you can weave into your content. Um, but, you should write passionately and solve problems. Right? So, I'm writing about things I'm passionate about, and I'm weaving in my individual values about community, business, development, and travel, right? Is this all making sense? It's all coming around in a circle? So that's awesome, right? O-S-S-M. So I want to leave you with this. I want you to be bold, right? I want you to remember that you can change your content, uh, you can change your navigation, you can remove things, it's okay, right? It might hurt a little bit, but it's okay to do. So be bold. Restructure your site. If it doesn't make sense, just restructure it. Right? There's nobody telling you that you can't do this. Create a mission. Remember to create a mission because that mission will drive you and save you eight years of real business. Right? Or more. Uh, some people, who knows, might struggle with this their entire life without creating some sort of mission. Right? And then uh, reflect your mission and passions on your site. And lastly, these are changes that you can make today. Don't do it during a session. Eh, maybe do it during a session. Um, don't, do it, don't do it during a, uh, a break, right? Spend time talking with people. But these are things that you can take home and do immediately, right? 
So I'm Mendel. I'm at, if you will, uh, you'll be able to, if everything works right with my scheduling, you'll be able to uh, see this presentation at mendel.me slash presentations. Thank you very much. We have a question from Mendel right over here. Thank you so much. 